Hi everyone, my name is Amitesh and in this video we're going to solve this equation 6 power x equals 24. Now it's just the value of x so that 6 power x is 24 but back in the day what people had to work with is they had to work with log tables. So they had log values for some small values of log and then they wanted to use those tables to solve equations like this. So I'm going to show you how we could in theory reduce this equation down to some simple logarithm. And the simple process for doing this, what I like to do is to make all the bases the same on both sides of the equation by factoring 6 and 24 into small numbers. Okay, so here 6 we know is equal to 2 times 3, so I'm going to write it here. 6 is equal to 2 times 3, and 24 is equal to, how do we factor it into prime numbers basically? Well, 24 is 3 times 8, and 8 is 2 cubed. So it's going to be 2 cubed times 3. So what we can do is we can get 6 power x is 2 times 3 power x is equal to 2 cubed times 3. And now that we know that's 2 cubed times 3, we get 2 power x times 3 power x is equal to 2 cubed times 3. And now what we want to do is we want to put all the exponents of one number to one side and the other number to the other side. So here we've got 2 power x and 2 power 3. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 power 3. And by exponent loss, that is a 2 power negative 3. Okay, multiplying by 2 power negative 3. So we're going to get 2 power x minus 3. This is by dividing both sides by 2 cubed is equal to 3 power 1 minus x. Okay, so all I've done here is I've just divided both sides first by 2 cubed then by 3 power x, okay? So 3 power x dividing on both sides is multiplying by 3 power negative x. So we get 3 power 1 times 3 power negative x, which is 3 power 1 minus x. And here we've got 2 power x times 2 power negative 3 because I'm dividing by 2 cubed, which is 2 power x minus 3. Now that we've got this far, um, there's not much else to do but to take logs. So we can take log to the base 2. That's the simplest log to take. So log to the base 2 of, of, of both sides, that's going to simplify the left-hand side. So we get log to the base 2 of 2 power x minus 3 is going to equal to log to the base 2 of 3 power 1 minus x. Now here, you know, log to the base 2 of 2 power x minus 3 is what do you have to power 2 by to get 2 power x minus 3? So the answer is given to you. It's just x minus 3. Okay, so another way is using log laws. You can bring the exponent out front and log to the base 2 of 2 is 1. That's another way of looking at it. So then we get x minus 3 is going to equal to do log laws on the right hand side too. So you get 1 minus x times log to the base 2 of 3. And now what we do is we solve for x. Okay, so basically we, we solve for x. So I'm just going to bring all the x terms to one side. So I'm going to get x times 1. So this is minus x log to the base 2 of 3. So bring it to the other side, it becomes plus. So I'm going to get 1 plus log to the base 2 of 3 is going to equal to log to the base 2 of 3 on the right hand side. Um, plus 3. I'm adding 3 to both sides. And so therefore, we can now solve for x. So I'm going to now erase this side of the board and write the solution. And again, like if you have some nice log tables, you can, you can use those tables to basically, um, you know, log to the base 2 of 3 is a nice simple expression. You can use that to really understand what this is. So this is just going to now, therefore, therefore we're going to get x is going to equal to log to the base 2 of 3 plus 3 um, I'm, I'm actually just, just to make sure, because sometimes the parentheses can be a bit confusing, I like to just write 3 plus log to the base 2 of 3 divided by 1 plus log to the base 2 of 3. Okay, so that's going to be the answer. Um, and that's, that's just a way of looking at it that, you know, using logs, you could take logs at the beginning and manipulate log laws, but I like this way. You know, if you're trying to simplify for x with the simplest kind of logarithm, this is a nice way of doing it. That was nice practice with exponent laws, which is really what it is. You know, trying to practice with exponent laws, trying to practice with logs, trying to understand how they all fit together. And this, this method approaches to any, applies to any problem. So there's some trending videos on YouTube, um, which look like this. And so they've been getting quite a lot of views. So I thought I'd do this video just to kind of show a simple way of doing it. Because sometimes the trending videos Look, look quite complicated to me. Thanks so much for watching. Wish you all the best. There's content at all levels on my channel, all kinds of math. So check it out. It'll constantly elevate you and it's free content. So my goal is to change lives by creating infinite accessible free math education. And I'm super excited to see you in the next video.